Uh, you know, sorry, I'm, I'm all over the place tonight. I, there's obviously, you have a reason why you haven't told me what no, happened to the babies. It's, it's okay. I haven't been fair, and I should have told you. You know, after I left you in New York and I went to Rome, I really <laughs> just thought everything was perfect. You know, you had signed the papers and given me full custody. I had my work. And I thought that I had everything I needed to give my child a good life. I don't want to... I don't want to pressure you into this. No, you're not. You're, you're not. I want to tell you. When I went back to Rome, that's when I met Suzanne. And she was working for ASAC. And I wanted to work for them, too. I did tell Suzanne. But she was the only person who I told. And then the relief trip came, and... Um, I was kind of, you know, excited about it, but I went to the doctor. <laughs> I went to the doctor because I wanted to make sure that it was safe for me to travel, and she said that it was fine that, and that I was way past the danger zone. So I thought that I was safe, uh, but I wasn't. And neither, and neither was my baby. You know, Diane. One day I had a fever, and I mean, I didn't think it was a big deal. What happened? My fever got worse, and uh, I just—I guess I fainted. All right, I think I passed out, and and when I woke up, Suzanne was with me. She was taking care of me, and I just knew. She didn't have to say anything. I just knew that my baby was gone. I'm sorry. She said really felt like, um, I haven't been able to talk about it until now. I don't... I'm sorry I wasn't there to help you in any way. It's okay. I actually <laughs> thought that I'd kind of gotten past all of this and then... I don't know, sometimes it just blindsides me, like today. Wait, what happened today? I don't know if you know or not that Sam had a baby. He was stillborn. He was a little girl. She was just telling me how she woke up in the hospital. And that... Suddenly her baby was gone. You could relate. Yeah. about it, about her baby, and it, all these feelings just start rushing back to me, you know? I just, I never, I didn't get to hold him. He was a boy. Okay, go. Dot com now. Lulu, it's me. You there? I didn't even have to text him. No, Maxie. Oh, no, no, no. You guys need you to talk, and I really want to go see Matt. No. Brenda was upset. 
I was comforting her. That, that's it. That's all. She's marrying my father. Like more to the point, I don't love Brenda. I love you. I want you to know what no, you walked in. No, it's pretty self-explanatory. No, it wasn't. It was a pretty rough night. Well, I had a pretty rough night too. Michael's girlfriend was almost raped. What? Yeah, her ex-boyfriend jumped her in an alleyway, and Michael heard them, and he stepped in, beat the crap out of this guy, almost killed him. Jason called me to do damage control, and I, I had to call it in, of course, because I had to make it official. So now I gotta make sure these charges stick against this guy. I didn't realize that Brenda was comforting you. Are you kidding me? No, I was at the hospital taking Abby's statement. I, I came back, and Brenda was on my couch. She was upset. I said something made it worse. I mean, I don't know. What was I going to do? Throw her out? No, of course not. i am hurt you again, and I'm sorry. <sighs> you had a free pass tonight. It's not why I came Don't here. misunderstand. We're... We're still broken up, but you're upset about Michael, and I'm not going to make things worse. Thanks for understanding. It's a lot easier to do when you're forthcoming. Well, I guess I shouldn't go. Yeah, I guess that's... that's the best. You know what I wanted more than anything else today was just to, to talk to you. Thanks for hearing me. Bye. Why are you marrying him? 